very deep team, obviously, but can you talk about how determined your team was from the puck drop tonight? Yeah, we were, we, we recognize this is a, a, a special moment for this building and, um, you know, guys understood the, the magnitude of this game, uh, the importance of the game. And this, this is a group that's, it's very easy to, you know, you don't have to say too many things. You just have to give them a little reminder. They're, they're really a solid veteran group. They understand the moments and, and this was a moment for them. Um, and our crowd and and it was a what a great atmosphere i was saying just before we came on here i it, w it was deafening and uh um i couldn't hear anything out there i i, I had some white noise for a while there so uh, that's fantastic Arthur what an atmosphere Art stable the athletic all right um just uh, to be able to play your best game in a closeout game, I think for the second straight series, what does that say about kind of the, the mental toughness that your group has has carried into these playoffs? Well, I think it's 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 a lot of it says a lot. Um, we know that you got to have your best game. You know, I look back even last year, uh, game game seven against Philadelphia would have been our uh, as good a game we've we've played uh, in a closeout game, and we knew we had to do that. So. I, I think those experiences, I keep coming back to experiences because that's what allows you to, to have success, to understand the moment. And we don't get too far in front uh, of the moment. We weren't even thinking about Boston. We were just thinking about the next shift. And that was a great focus of our, our, our team today. But Arthur. I know we talked about it the other day, but but Kyle Palmieri and Travis Ajak, their ability to, to kind of get assimilated and now, you know, in this game kind of lead a little bit too with their intensity. Um, what does that say about those two guys and their ability to kind of be in the moment for you with a, with a relatively new team? Uh, I think it says a lot about them as, uh, you know, not only as hockey players, but more about people. They, you know, they, they have assimilated with this group um, very, very well. They've got great personalities. They've got great, great uh, professionalism. And honestly, I, I, I said to the coaching staff, I think they're having a ball right now. Um, you know, they've they missed the playoffs. They missed that intensity. Um, and, you know, they're, they're a part of it right now, and they're a big part of it. So uh, I think they're having a blast. Molly Walker, New York Post. Sorry, Brock said you said in the locker room that you'll remember moments like this forever. Could you just give us some more insight into what the mood in the locker room is right now and you know, what was going on when you went in there? What else did you say? Well, I, I think the mood is, is obviously it's, it's, it's good because we won a series, but, you know, we, I, I talked to him, I said, you know, you know, this building and, and during your career, when your career is all done, you're going to remember uh, uh, those special moments when you win a series and hopefully win a, a Stanley Cup and uh, you're, there's going to be special moments along the way and we can make this a special moment, uh, you, you know, by, by winning a series in the building. It'll be our second one that we've done in this building. And, you know, take, try to take the next step. And, uh, you know, really there's, there's – you know, obviously there's a few more teams left, but there's going to be four teams left playing. And, uh, you know, all the other ones, the 27 other teams, they're, they're wishing that we are, they had, a, you know, this opportunity that we have. So we're going to enjoy the moment. Uh, and then we'll get back to work. Go ahead, Molly. And would you say this was one of Nick Letty's best games in the postseason so far? Uh, yeah, Leds was really good. I thought uh, he was really, really solid. He made a great play in that two-on-one. Um, he skated. I thought he was firm when Nick is skating and he's firm like that. Uh, you know, he's a, a he's a difference maker. But we had uh, I can go up and down our lineup. We had a lot of great performances tonight uh, by a lot of people tonight. Brian Compton, NHL.com. Barry, how big was that save by Varley on Charlie Coyle uh, there in the second period when it was a two-one game and then Brock scores a minute later? Thanks. Yeah, well, uh, it was it was huge. It was. Uh, I think Ber Bergy had a, a, a good look too. So that, that's huge, especially, uh, you know, second period. That's been a good period for us in this series. And, uh, you know, you get a big save. How many times do you see that? A big save and you go down and score. So, you know, Varley was solid for us. Um, wasn't as worked over as he was in uh, in Boston, and uh, but he was solid. 
And then uh, we were, you know, we capitalized on and transitioned out of that really well. Christian Arnold, New York Hockey now. Barry, when it when it comes to the additions you guys have made over the last two years, uh, Pajot and, and Andy Green last year, now Zajac and um, and Kyle this year, what does it just say about Lou's ability to understand what the team needs in the moment and get that to you so that you can create these moments in the playoffs like you have the last two years? Well, Lou's won a few cups, and, and uh, I think the, his knowledge uh, over – the time that he's been in the league, um, you know, he's a learned guy and he has seen uh, a number of things. I, I love listening to with uh, and talking with Lou. We talk daily and, um, you know, he understands building a roster. You know, um, there will be a, you know, a player A and player B and the values that a lot of people might put on a, a certain player um you know because it's the sexy thing to do he understands the the intrinsic value of a player in, in tough games and in the locker room and as a teammate and as a pro and all the all the stuff that you really don't uh put a lot of numbers to um you know everything that he does has a lot of uh, is very thorough and very um, has substance to it. It's just not, uh, it's just, you know, just not lacy fancy stuff. It's, it's real stuff. And, uh, he, he puts a lot of value into that. Tom Galiti, NHL.com. Barry, a couple of guys mentioned earlier about having unfinished business and with your next opponent, I don't know how much you focused on that, but does that kind of been a motivation to get back to this round and get another shot at it? Uh, no, uh, we've talked zero about Tampa Bay. <laughs> zero and uh we just you know we start out this journey to beat pittsburgh we start out and then we were able to do that and then we focused in on on boston and uh you know we we get a shot to to go against the champs again so uh they're great i just watched them uh close out carolina that's a that's a good hockey team right now and uh dangerous very dangerous power play obviously they're hitting about 50 percent i think it seems like so and they've got they've got superstar power just as boston does that uh you know they they've got a, a few lines uh that can that, that can hurt you and they're you know uh vesna uh type goaltender their defense is is extremely deep and their forwards are extremely deep so uh, this is a, a really this will be a huge challenge for us, but you know we'll we'll, uh, we'll try to dissect it and and uh, see what we can do. Andrew Gross, Newsday. Hey Barry, obviously it's what good teams do in the playoffs, but what, what kind of factor do you think the the way it seemed like you, you physically wore down the Bruins as the series wore on a little bit? How much of a factor was that in, in what just happened? Um, well, I think it was, uh, it was, uh, well, it was a factor. Uh, I think we, we, uh, we stayed on top. We were, we were, we, were, we hung in there and we, it was a physical series. I mean, uh, they're a physical hockey team. We're a physical hockey team. We were just, you know, going nose to nose. It's like a, you know, you, you get enough hits in, you get enough punches in, uh, you know, like a fighter does, but, you know, you take so many body blows and, shots to the head uh, as, a, as a fighter you get worn down and uh, I think you know using that an analogy is that we just tried to stay on top of them try to, to force them to you know come 200 feet try to do a lot of different things that uh, wore them down and and you know they had to chase the last you know, last couple of games and you know that they had to play their top guys a lot uh, and we tried to just you know Try to stay with them, and our guys did. Alan Craig, New York Times. All right, we started the season in an empty Coliseum with no fans. And tonight you have a night like this, with the decibel levels rising. Did you take a moment to just look around and appreciate that in some waning seconds? Yeah, no, I have. We were just saying, you know, we started this this journey with a, uh, um, you know, we didn't have a big break coming out of the bubble and, and uh, started this journey, and it was, it, it's been a grind. And, uh, it's starting to pay off. Uh, I think every player in the league that's still playing will tell you um, that it's paying off because it's been hard for these teams that have no one in the building. 
Um, you get excited. It's, it's, you know, society has been missing, you know, we're, we're, pe we're people, we want, uh, uh, interaction. We or that's the way we're, our DNA is. And now that we're, you know, having the interaction with the, the fans, uh, the atmosphere, the energy, uh, it, it's, it's been worth it. And, um, you know, the, you know, it's been a, a, a good ride through the season because it's been a grind. And I, I have every player that's played this year uh, in the league, I have a lot of respect for because it has been a grind for them. Joe Pantorno, AM New York. Barry, uh, at this point, is there any way that you could explain just uh, how Brock Nelson comes up big in these big moments? Thanks. Just I have no idea what he said. Joe, try, try it again, Joe. You just you broke. You, can you just ask the question again? You just broke up a number of times. Yeah, sorry. Um, just is there any way you can explain at this point just how Brock Nelson's been able to come up so big in these big situations? Thanks. Yeah, I think uh, today, you know, uh, people don't know Brock just had a, a child the other day, him and his, his wife. Um, and so he's been dealing with that. Uh, um, you know, he played the uh, game four. Game four, he is, his wife had a baby. Uh, I think it was twelve thirty in the afternoon or five, five, and uh, he played <laughs> that, that that night with no sleep. Said, "I'm in the lineup," and he's been battling through that. Uh, you know, uh, came to Boston, uh, spent some time. We got him into Boston late that night. Played that game. Um, and I think today you saw him fresh um, and happy to ha have a, a, a new child with his wife and having the wife home and, and all that. I, I just think he just he settled in and played a Brock Nelson game. Last one here, Jerry Beach. Hey, Barry, uh, kind of follow up on, on Alan's question. Is, is this second straight deep run and second straight trip to the – Semifinals a little more meaningful because you get to have nights like this and you get to what was missing, um, get to experience some things that you obviously couldn't um, nights like this uh, last summer. Yeah, I think yeah, it, 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 you're, it, that's a good question. You know, it wasn't a motivating factor or anything, but it is is something that we said, hey, we're no we know we're a good hockey team. We can take it, you know, as deep as we can, and there's a lot of pride in doing that. And I think as we started having fans the 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 the, um, the value of of that getting those and experiencing that which we did miss out and and tampa won a cup with no fans i mean that was you know that could be their motivation uh but i know the fans of of uh give us the energy to say hey this is this is fun let's keep going and see how far we can take this so um I think it's worth it because of the fans. And uh, last year was a great experience, uh, one that you'll, you'll, like I said to the players, you'll remember forever because you were basically in a dorm for two months. And we, you know, we did some things that some players had never, you know, got past, you know, really a round or two rounds. And, you know, finding out it is a, uh, uh, a different sort of mentality that you have to have. Um, and they enjoyed the experience, even though it was very grueling. Um, and I think this experience uh, this year has been the, the similar. But as we've had started to have fans in and having our lives come back to normal through everybody getting vaccinated and all that, um, it, it's it's giving it a lot more meaning for sure.